most exciting college football player I've ever seen. He is must must watch TV because his style of play is just so unique. And he's the ultimate dual threat quarterback, guys. I think he's gotten better as a passer this year. He's committed himself to working through his progressions. His footwork is better, which means his accuracy has been better. But let's face it, his greatness is his escapability. That sixth sense to avoid the pass rush, make big plays on the fly. He's playing against the Duke defense tonight that lacks an elite pass rush. They've got a lot of youth in the secondary. And the last time we saw Johnny Manziel in a bowl game, he put up a Cotton Bowl record, 516 total yards. I would expect Johnny Football to have a huge game here tonight and what I do expect to be his final game. Now that matchup works out for the Devils. Manziel, quarterback draw on the first play. Manziel healthier than he's been in several weeks. He's had thumb, shoulder, knee problems. Gets up to the 35-yard line, pickup of about eight on first down. Menzel, 6'1", 210 pounds. He improved his completion percentage. Virtually all of his numbers were improved. Did throw a few more interceptions this year, but still big-time offensive force, and he finds Evans with his first pass of the night, and big Mike Evans gets it to midfield. have traveled very well going to consecutive bowl games. First time, Menzel running it. Johnny appears to be much healthier than he was in the latter stages of the season. The good quickness and speed. Carson and Molina, that's Molina in motion, and Ben catches it in the flat. Molina turns the corner, still on his feet. Manziel, Walker right on the money, into Duke territory and inside the 40. Aggies lost four on the play. Manziel fires it to Travis Labhart. Labhart, no pressure. Kelby Brown coming, so is Helton. They're picked up. Manziel has time, firing to the outside. Terrific grab by Darrell Walker. And all the Aggies have been able to muster is three points. Manziel running it again. Just be stronger and more physical. Manziel to Malcolm Kennedy. Kennedy racing into Duke territory. Now Cockrell bails out. Manziel looking toward Evans. Got him. Evans inside the 25 before Cockrell knocks him down. First down for the Aggies. Now from the 23. Manziel. Got a man. Touchdown AM. It's Travis Labhart. Someone's defense hasn't been able to get off the field last drive. Manziel let his team down. Here goes Johnny running. And Manziel right on the money to Darrell Walker. Another first down for the Aggies. Manziel, that hard, who had the touchdown catch, has enough for the first down. Quarterback. Johnny 17 to 24 passing. He's going to run it this time. He takes a couple of big shots. Fourth and four. Evans down here is pretty legit. Manziel to Labhart. Touchdown, Aggies. First time in nine minutes and 47 seconds of game time, Manziel has the ball, and Johnny trying to do something with it. Manziel, the first run of the second half, has a first down. Or B button if you prefer the Xbox. <laughs> Malcolm Kennedy, an alley. Kennedy spins inside the Duke 45, starting nose man. Manziel gets away from two. Johnny on his feet. Here goes Johnny Football. Inside the 25, first down for the Aggies. On second and seven. Manziel leaps over a guy, still on his feet. Manziel, Labhart. Touchdown, Aggies. He's magic. Doesn't go down, keeps the play alive and actually finds the original fake bubble to Labhart. That was wild. Manziel, complete. Nifty move by Darrell Walker. Walker. Manziel, throwing. There's clear again. The big fella's still on his feet. Cockrell trying to rip the ball away, but he cannot. And the Aggies are down close to the 20-yard line. David, you mentioned earlier you love Johnny Manziel's quick release. I love the awkward body throws. Take a look at how his body's contoured here. Throws it on the run to Tower the right. Out. Yeah, to the left. Here it comes. Manziel turns it loose. Evans with Cockrell all over him. Manziel 
They'll never catch him. Johnny Manziel, touchdown Texas A&M, and over the barricade. And Johnny's first one back to celebrate. And boy, he has been terrific in the second half. Where's the hurdle? The one, we're going to show that in just a minute. The hurdle's got to be top five. The one I tonight. The I one agree. Touchdown I pass agree. to Travis Mabar. That might be. And we might, might have be another one. one. We might have another one before the night's over if he leads this comeback, which he's been doing. But the numbers, I mean, it's sick. I mean, he's playing a different game than everybody else right now. 86 points tonight. Chick-fil-A bowl record. Manziel. Malcolm Kennedy. The outcome of this drive. Duke bringing pressure. Manziel firing deep. Walker's out there. Darrell Walker running under it. He's got it. Touchdown, Texas a &M. Look at the air Johnny Manziel puts underneath this football. He sees man-to-man -man coverage, but look at high and deep. Don't worry about his arm strength. Dude, that's dropping in the bucket, too. I mean, I could have caught that. And I'm not, I'm not even athletic. I mean, that shows you how... Uh, you're athletic. But I'm saying it shows you how great number two throws the football. Manziel's been responsible for five touchdowns tonight. He's thrown for more than 7,800 yards in his career, run for more than 2,100, and he's just 11 yards away from the 10,000 yard. He's played two years, and this is why, from a legacy standpoint, he's one of the all-time greats. It's must-watch TV. His style of play is just so unique. So the question is now this. This indeed is Johnny Manziel's last game. What's his legacy in your judgment? Most exciting player of a generation? Yeah, and, and, and this is just Johnny does it again. I mean, this is, I couldn't think of a better way for him to go out. He just, his D just gave up 48. He was down huge, and he comes back. Look at, and look at his numbers. His numbers are great. And every time Cutcliffe and Duke put up points, Johnny had a response. Johnny had an answer. And it was, a, it was an amazing performance to cap off one of the most amazing fun to watch careers we've ever seen in a two years we were all very lucky as college football fans to watch him play maybe this isn't his last game but truly one of the greats only played two years a style all his own brought texas a&m back to national prominence they're now the team in texas but guys he's a celebrity legit as much as any big pro sports name lebron james tom brady he's a brand johnny football and whether or not you're an aggie fan or not if you're a college football fan We've been lucky to watch him play. <laughs> Johnny Menzel, in what it is widely assumed will be his final game, though not official yet, at Texas A&M. Brings the Aggies from 21 down. Couple of big plays by the defense as A&M wins the shootout, 52 to 48. That'll be official in about 20 seconds. Uh, Johnny Menzel finishes his career 11 yards short of the 10,000 yard mark, but never short in moments, never short in highlights. And he gigs him one last time, perhaps, as Texas A&M wins at 52 to 48. Yes, I am, Reese. Johnny, how would you describe the emotional progression of that game? You can't. You can't, you can't even begin to describe how that game was. 38 to whatever it was at half. So the guys, don't look at the scoreboard. If you look at the scoreboard, you might as well not come back on the field with me. Don't look. This game is 0-0 from however bad it was. Doesn't matter. We're going to fight. We're dogs. We don't care. We didn't care what the score was. We kept fighting. I'm so proud of them. What was the difference in this team between the first half and the second half? We just came back and, and got some momentum on offense. Defense did a great job coming out and helping us out uh, through the first few drives that Duke had. Gave us some momentum, momentum and got us the ball back. We felt like we shot ourselves in the foot the first few drives, and we, we were really doing some good things. Obviously a team effort out there tonight, but a lot of people watching, assuming that this may be your last college football game, have you decided if you'll make the trip to the NFL draft this year? I can't even think about anything other than this game right now. This was unreal. I can't, I can't, can't even begin to sit here and tell you how proud I am of these guys. I love Texas A&M. I love my teammates. Unreal. Johnny, what would keep you at Texas A&M, especially after an experience like this? This guy and all these teammates I have here. I love him more than anything on the face of the surf. All right, I'll talk to this guy then. Congratulations, Johnny.